What's up guys, hope you're having a great day. We are back here exactly where we left off, haven't moved. And we are going to be adding a haptic event now. And you can add this to any Udon graph we have made so far and it should work perfectly. For this example, we will be adding it to door trigger two. So let us open that Udon graph. So our first node we'll be adding is called a block. The second node we'll be adding is networking. Get local player. And then VRC player API and haptic play haptic event in hand is what we're looking for. And we'll need two of those. All right, so let's go ahead and put all of this into a group. And we're going to call this group vibration to player. So we'll be taking these, put them in the block. So this will only vibrate the player instead of every player. That's why we want to get local player. <laughs> we don't want to trigger everyone's vibration anytime anyone clicks anything. That would be very confusing and probably not very good to run. So we will have this vibrate. Here, let's zoom in here. Vibrate the left hand. This one will vibrate the right hand. And we're going to set all these values to 1, not 10. You can adjust those when you test it in-game to see, you know, what you'd like to set those to. And I don't have a VR hooked up to this desktop I'm recording on, so I can't actually show you that this works. But if you test this in-game with the VR, this should be working. And you can just add... If you ever need to, you can just copy Control C and just kind of put that in any other Udon graph where you'd like it to go. And that is how we do the vibrations for haptic events on triggers. So, yeah, you can set it to any trigger, anything like that, any Udon graph, any script. Change the values here for you know how much you want it to vibrate or which hand, that kind of thing. What you do with it is up to you. And that brings us to the end of this video. Um, if you guys followed it and it worked, let me know. If you have any issues, let me know below and I'll try to help you out. See what we can do to get it fixed and working on your end. If you did not have this set up to this point, um, and you don't know where to find this kind of stuff or set up the animation, that kind of thing, check out the videos before this. They all lead up to this in order. I'm trying to create a step-by-step -step thing going on here. So let me know if you guys had any errors or if it worked. Leave a like below if it worked.